just... Well, you know, I, I grew up reading about this type of novel myself. I, I read Alfred Hitchcock's Three Investigator series with Jupiter Jones and Danny Dunn and Scientific Adventures, and I just loved that stuff growing up. And I sort of wanted to do that, uh, you know, try to try to sort of stimulate the new generation of kids to keep reading that type of stuff, that scientific adventure. Um, you know, Harry Potter's got magic and. Twilight has vampires, and I just like want somebody that's a little bit of science in there. Some kid that's doesn't have no special powers. He's not magical. He's not. A, he's not a vampire. He can't live forever. Yeah, he's surviving by his wits. You know, he's using the science as knowledge to get out of out of tight situations. <clears throat> that's not the reason. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded good though, didn't it? You're all falling for it, weren't you? I wrote it because I wanted to write about dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it as an adult. So pretty much Michael Crichton covered the uh, bases with Jurassic Park and Lost World. And you never as an adult write about dinosaurs anymore. So if I wanted to write about dinosaurs, I had to do it with a kid book. And as everyone knows, they're, they're good snacks. So <laughs> I thought I'd write a kid's book. So. That's why.